Russia's giant Arctic LNG-2 project in Murmansk was due to become fully operational in January this year. It aimed to produce almost 20 million tonnes of liquefied natural gas every year, earning Novatech, the company that owns the plant, and the Kremlin billions of dollars. Instead, Russia appears to be struggling to sell the gas. Analyst Tom Marzik Mansa has been using satellite and ship tracking data to monitor LNG vessels at the plant. So far, we're aware of three cargoes that have been loaded from Arctic LNG2 in, in, in Siberia. And all of them really have, have not gone anywhere. Two of them have had to offload their cargo on this huge floating storage unit that, that Russia's Novatek has had moored uh, up near Murmansk uh, for over a year and never never used it. It's also under sanctions and that they're offloading these cargoes into this storage unit because, well, they can't find a buyer. Marzik Mansa says that storage unit named the Sam will fill up quickly if Russia can't find any buyers. Arctic LNG2 was a flagship development for Russian President Vladimir Putin. He made this prediction a year ago. Production of liquefied natural gas in the Russian Arctic zone will have increased threefold by 2030, up to 64 million tons per year. That ambition now seems unlikely. The West, led by the United States, imposed sanctions on businesses linked to Arctic LNG2 following Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Crucially, the measures also apply to vessels intended to transport the gas. So there's a whole fleet of cargoes and vessels that are sitting in, in shipyards in Asia, which are specifically designed to, to flow through the Arctic seas uh, and, and be able to, they're called ice-class vessels, and they've not been able to sell them to Novatech because of these sanctions. Russia is looking for ways to get around the sanctions. Marzik Mansa says the Kremlin is assembling a so-called dark fleet of LNG vessels that are difficult to track. It's a game of cat and mouse, and as we see new vessels which are owned by unknown Middle Eastern entities entering Russian waters, it's only then that that, that you can kind of properly join the dots to say, well, this is clearly being used to service um, uh, some of these projects. And it's only then that the sanctions come in. Novatech did not respond to requests for comment. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News.